Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys. We are going to be trying out a new Makeup Revolution foundation. This is the first time I will ever try a foundation from Makeup Revolution. Now we all know about the whole concealer. It's amazing. A lot of people seem to really, really love it. So I was really excited when I got in the mail these foundation sticks. First of all, because it's a foundation sticks. Most of the time I do love foundation sticks because they're just so nice on the skin and they're very like full coverage. So for me personally, I love foundation sticks. So I'm really, really excited to try this one out. And also I will be sharing sharing with you guys all the cheese may about this foundation like what it claims to do giving you guys all swatches of the 18 foundation shades that they carry and also I'm gonna be giving you guys an eight-hour check-in at the end of the video so stay tuned to the end of the video to see how it lasts throughout the day since it is a drugstore foundation we want to make sure that it still works for all day you know so we're gonna be going ahead and jumping into the video but before we do if you guys are not part of the birdie family and would like to join don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to hit that rainbow notification very important that way every time i upload new videos you guys can be notified and be part of the notification squad so yeah, I think that's it, my love. So let's go ahead and jump into this first impression slash review. So as always, my loves, before jumping into trying out the actual foundation, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the foundation. That way we know what we're supposed to look for in this foundation and what we're supposed to see once we start applying it on our foundation, on our face, I mean. Um, and also at the same time, so we don't make this video super long, I'm gonna give you guys the swatches at the same time of all of the 18 shades that they carry in this foundation. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned, they do carry 18 shades of this foundation and it goes from colors F1 all the way to F18. And then on their site, it says that this foundation just got faster. It says launching in 18 shades, a range of undertones, fast base foundation quickly perfects contours and highlights your complexion. The easy to apply stick formula melts into the skin, blends seamlessly to leave a fresh and dewy finish. All you have to do is just twist it up, swipe it on your face, and blend it out with your fingers, a beauty sponge, or your favorite foundation brush. This foundation retails for $9, and you can buy it on the RevolutionBeautyUSA.com website or on Ulta's website. But it retails for $9, which is not a bad price. It's very, very affordable in my opinion. So I'm excited to see how this is going to try it. Like, actually apply and everything and to be honest i didn't know this but this is actually their first foundation that they have ever released so that's a very exciting thing about them and also the other great thing about this foundation is that they are 100 percent cruelty free now that you guys know a little bit about this foundation and you guys have seen all 18 swatches and now we're going to go ahead and get started into trying it on our face so the first thing i'm going to do is always prime my face i always do this for every foundation no matter what it is, I always have to prime my face. So to be fair with it, I'm gonna be using this primer from Benefit. Okay, here's where I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. This is where I always have such a struggle finding my correct color for my skin tone because I have an actual olive undertone. I don't have a golden undertone. I don't have a yellow undertone. I have an olive undertone. And a lot of brands don't actually make olive undertones for some reason which is why i tweeted one time like a long time ago like when is it the year that brands are gonna start making olive undertones but i have all swatches right here i believe that this one might just go into being my color but it's just slightly a little darker the other ones look way too light for me i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna apply f10 all around my outer part of my face and then take f8 and apply this on the inner corner or in the inner part of my face if that makes sense so hopefully that's gonna make it work all right so now that we have the foundation on now i'm gonna go ahead and start blending it out first i'm gonna try it out with the sigma f82 round kabuki brush on this side of my face and then i will try this side of my face with an actual sponge i never use my fingers but i want to see the difference between the sponge and the brush so we're gonna go ahead and do that Okay, so now there is this part where I have already blended it out with the actual brush. I would say that the color is not that bad. So now moving to this side, I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty sponge. This one is from Sigma, the 3D HD sponge.
All right, so now here we have the side of the sponge. I have to say, I actually prefer the sponge side better, but at the same time, I do have to say that with the brush, you get more coverage. Of course, you do more, get more coverage with the brush, but um, I feel like this side looks just a little extra more flawless with the actual sponge, but I feel like I cannot actually build it up because like I said, it, it feels so comfortable on the skin and very hydrating and you don't really feel it on the skin. So I'm gonna try to do a second layer with the sponge just to see if we could get a little bit more coverage and see how it goes from there. All right, so now I can definitely see that I do have a little bit more coverage and it still doesn't look super cakey or anything. It still feels very comfortable on the skin, so that's a plus. So now we're gonna move on to concealer and try it and set this just so we can see already how the foundation is gonna look like once we're done with our makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take their concealer. I take their concealer in the color C7 and apply this as my concealer. And to set it, I am going to be using also their powder. This is called the Luxury ba Baking Powder in the color Banana. So I'm gonna use this to set all of my entire face. I'm gonna take my MAC Dark Golden and apply this as my bronzer. Now I'm gonna apply my blush, this one from Benefit called Gold Rush. And for my highlight, I'm gonna take my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. All right, my beauty, so here is the final look once we are already done with our makeup. The only last step that I'm gonna do is add a little bit of Fix Plus because I always set my foundations. Once I'm done with my all, all of my makeup, I always do this, so. To be fair with the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Fix Plus, and that is it. So there you have it, you guys. This is now how the foundation looks. It is right now 10, 10, 12. So I'm gonna be doing an eight hour check-in, like I said. I'll be checking back with you guys. Anything dramatic, something drastically happens with this foundation, I will be sure to vlog it for you guys, let you guys know. So yeah, so I'll be checking back with you guys in eight hours. All right, my beauties, so now I am back after a little over eight hours. It is now 9.50, so it's been eight hours already. I am actually gonna be honest with you guys, I'm a little shook by it because obviously I am a very like oily person in my T-zone. We are starting to get more into the hot summer days, so I do start producing a little bit more oil, and when I read that this foundation is, to make your, is supposed to make your skin look more dewy and also more refreshed, natural looking type of uh, finish, I was expecting a lot of more oil in my T-zone, but this isn't that bad at all, you guys. Like, this looks okay for me because I can easily fix all of this. I can easily fix it with a little bit of blotting paper and then set it again with a little bit of loose powder and I will be good to go. I did see though that it did crack in some of my facial expressions. I was laughing a lot. I went to go see a movie. I saw the Avengers movie, but I survived the Avengers movie. So I guess that says a lot about this foundation. For $9, it really is not that bad, you guys. So I actually did really enjoy it. That is my final thoughts on it. I think it is worth it if you're just looking for an everyday drugstore foundation that will do the job, give you coverage, and also make you have like more of a natural type of look. This is a really nice foundation stick. You can actually also build it up if you want more coverage. So you guys saw I did build it up and it looks like ama amazing. You can also use it with a brush if you want or a sponge or with your fingers. So that's also a great thing. Let me know what you guys think about the foundation in the comment section and if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys found it helpful and would like to see more first impressions like these, don't forget to give me your guys' thumbs up. You guys always help me. And also if you guys wanna join the Birdie family and you guys believe that we can and we will make a difference, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that rainbow notification. That way every time I upload new videos, you guys can be notified. But yeah, with that, my loves, that concludes our first impression on this new Makeup Revolution foundation stick. So with that, I will see you guys all in the next video. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Now we're just going to go. Yo no me sé ni su nombre, pero la quiero. How can you like someone and not know their name? First impression. First impression. First impression. I'm a little red.